Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to do a trading video that I could upload to YouTube this time because um, I've just been recording on my phone and uploading it that way. So I wanted to share a current trade that I'm in with Bitcoin and how it's playing out and the signals, the indicators I look for to enter a trade. Um, so one of my favorite trades to do is the break of trend line. Um, to me, that's been a very consistent winner. Um, and this, I'm looking at the daily chart. For example, this trend line here, this white line has been hit once, twice, three, four, and the fifth time, if it breaks through, um, and then to me, that's a very clear signal. It's going to go bear. Uh, so it's done that a few times. You can see it here as well. And uh, in the past, I've just taken a few trades like that. But yeah, so today I saw, yesterday I saw that it broke it, but I wanted to wait for confirmation today uh, to enter an actual trade. So other, other confirmations that I saw was that it closed below the 20 and the 10. EMA. So to me, that is a very bearish uh, sign because as long as it stays above, you know, the the 20, to me, that's that was holding as support the whole way up. But now that it's below it, um, and again, it finished, it closed below the 20. To me, I took that as a, another signal that it was going to uh, go bare today. And the third signal I rely on is the RSI, which uh, on the daily I saw break below 50 as well. I was watching it this morning. It was hovering above it. But then when I saw it break, then that was like the third indicator to me. I thought, yep, that's three indicators. Um, and the MACD is also one I look at for momentum. So yeah when i saw all those line up i thought yep now's the time i'm just going to enter a short and i was confident in that to enter and so this is a trade that's currently uh, playing out in profit um yeah there you go i'm not going to close it just yet for profit i, I think it's going to keep going um i think it's going to continue down to if not the previous um, wick uh, here at 42,900 or 42,800, if not that one, then I think I, I'm going to watch closely to see. I might take half profit there, but I think it's going to continue down um, to the weekly support level, which is this white line here that I've drawn. If I zoom in i'll show you it's a bit there you go the weekly that's the weekly support level i don't know if you can see it i've drawn a lot of fib levels as well but the white line is the weekly support so as long as it holds above that in my opinion i think there's nothing to worry about like bitcoin's still going to be bullish but i think if it breaks below and then um it could possibly even go back down to 27 but i doubt it because i think you know we've gone past there now and that this is a, a, a strong level of support um so yeah i'm going to watch closely to see what happens if and when it reaches that level because if it breaks down further then we might be in trouble but i doubt it with the rate that the world is adopting bitcoin i doubt that we're going to see, you know, a, a bullish market at this point in time. I think we're we're still going to be heading up till you know the end of this year at least. So, yeah, um, you know, you hear everyone saying hundred grand Bitcoin, one million dollar Bitcoin. Yeah, let's just be realistic. I don't think a million dollar Bitcoin this year is going to going to happen, but a hundred grand possibly possibly but yeah this is not financial advice this is just my opinion so please don't take this as financial advice but yeah just showing you what is possible once you um 
you know, apply yourself and understand trading and work on your trading strategies and, you know, get your head around it. Like it's taken me a good year now to finally get there. But now, like I'm at the point where I'm so confident that, you know, I'm doing it on a larger account and yeah, I'm excited. (laughs) So there you go. If you are new to trading and want to learn trading, feel free to message me. Um, I've also got some intro to trading videos in my bio that you can watch that my mentors have made completely free um but if you're intermediate and want to work with me you can also do that one-on-one um yeah all the links are in my bio and happy trading guys these are exciting times um actually while i'm here i I just i thought i may as well just talk about other coins as well not just bitcoin but with bitcoin being the main one that all the other coins follow um With Bitcoin going bare, ETH is definitely going bare too. So I'll show you my ETH chart. Uh, On the daily, I like to look at the daily first. Yeah, so ETH also has broken, it looks like, yeah, it's broken the trend line. This is a a longer trend line that started from the very bottom. It's, It's hit it once, twice, three, four, Fifth time it's broken through. So with ETH, we could possibly see it going down again to test the weekly level at 3000 as well. Um, Yeah, it seems to be going the same way. But I doubt, I just highly doubt it's going to go any further below that. Um, I think at worst it will test 3000 and then bounce back up and then, you know, bull season is on in my opinion um yeah so there you go that's my analysis on bitcoin ethereum and i can look at some other coins as well that i've been looking at um i think a good coin to like hold for the long term is ftt which is ftx's uh token um because if, if you know about uh, exchange tokens, finances, you know, BNB one um, exploded in growth. So I think in terms of like where FTT is at, it's still relatively cheap at $56. It's still got a long way to go. Um, so it's a, to me, it's a good token to hold for the long term because um, FTX is becoming a more popular broker. Um, I like it a lot myself, but um, I don't use it to trade at the moment. But, um, yeah, I've used it in the past and I like it a lot, so probably will use it again. So I've got some FTT tokens. Um, Yeah, everything seems to be retracing. I think FTT will probably retrace a bit more as well, down to maybe 50 or 61.8. Let's look at the daily. Yeah, I think because it's broken through this supply zone now, I think it's going to go down further to at least the 50 Fibonacci level, if not 61.8 before it goes back up again. So now is actually while you're waiting, while we're waiting for things to retrace, um, when they hit these levels is a good time to buy. So instead of panicking, look at this as an opportunity to buy um, at, you know, buy the coins cheap. Just wait for it to play out and then buy it at the bottom before it goes back up. That's my, you know, my philosophy. Uh, What else? I've been looking at Seoul because that's been going, that went for a huge run and yeah, now it's going down again like everything else so let's look at the daily it is it seems to be respecting the 20 ema pretty well although yeah it's now gone below that again so let's just see if it closes below the 20 ema today then we're probably going to go a lot further down possibly 
back down to 61.8, so $100 around about. Um, yeah, if not, maybe $80 level seems to be the next level of support for Seoul. But um, yeah, I, I like to wait and see how things play out. So, and then wait for like triple confirmation before I enter a trade now because I've been silly in the past and just entered trades on one confirmation alone, which wasn't enough. So now I like to have triple, if not quadruple confirmations before I enter a trade. So yeah, that's Seoul. I've drawn a few charts. Um, let's look at FTM, Phantom. Um, I think, yeah, everything's going down at the moment. But to me, the EMAs are very good um, indicators of support. Like the 20 EMA will act as a very good level of support in a bull trend, in a bull market. So as long as it respects that and stays above, then, you know, I'm happy to enter longs. But as soon as I see it, like, close below, then I'm entering a short. <laughs> like I did with BTC. So that's phantom. I think we might keep going down to maybe a dollar. If not, 80, 80 cents. Yeah. You know, you can see how everything like is pretty much correlated. You know, ah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, also Rune, let's have a look at Rune while I'm here. Yeah. And I'm constantly always searching for, you know, coins that I think will skyrocket 10x if not. And yeah, I'll probably do a separate video on that. Okay, so this is going a bit slow, so don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I'll end my video now. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. And happy trading, guys.